Today, I am going to share with you my individual uh, false lash application technique. So I have changed up my lash game just a little bit because I was noticing that with my eyelash, um, the whole strip, when I remove it, it seems like I was also removing some eyelashes. So my lashes were getting thinner and your eyelashes and eyebrows and everything get thinner anyways as you get older, but I didn't need any help with that. So I thought I would try this solution so that I can still get a really full lashy look because I love that look without actually damaging my eyelashes. And so one thing that I do to start is I will use, this is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. My eyelashes are very straight and kind of hard to curl plus curling your lashes that's also a little bit damaging you know for them and so i've never had any luck finding curling mascaras and i've always been one who really crimps them very very tight and has to be careful how I apply my mascara so that it doesn't drop um, because sometimes that can happen as well and it's very frustrating. But one thing that I have noticed is that when I use this and if I really apply it slowly, it does give my lash enough lift, especially when I'm wearing these because you're wanting your um, the individual lashes to blend in with your normal lash line. And so by brushing this through, now, if this doesn't work for you, that's fine. You can crimp them just, just as easily. But what I have noticed is it lifts it just enough and then the, um, the individual lashes blend in. Now, if your lashes are sticking straight out and then you've got these that are going up, then you will have to curl your, your eyelashes. All right. Okay. You can use whatever individual lashes that you like. I uh, enjoy the Ardell individuals. And these come with three different lengths, the long, the medium, and the short. And then I will use my Kiss, um, my, my Kiss adhesive in black. Now, if you're beginning, might I recommend that there's also the white adhesive that will dry clear. I've already got the dark, you know, eyeliner on the mascara. And so I don't mind the added little dark because it, it will, it will kind of uh, darken where it's attaching to my, my eyelid. So I don't mind that, but you may want even a more natural look, or you might be using a different color eyeliner. So you would rather it be clear. And then what I do with my tweezers is pluck the little hairs off gently and put them on a little tray like this and then put a little pool of the glue like that. Now, I start off with an assortment. Like the very longest one I put on my outer and then the rest are more medium and then in the inner corner, they're small. And so I just start by dipping the lashes into the glue and then letting them just get tacky. I am not going to lie to you. If you've never done this before, this is something that you really need to practice with. Once you get the hang of it, 
It's absolutely amazing. I love the look. It's very customizable. You can go from supernatural looking to, you know, extreme. And it's easy once you get the hang of it. That's basically what, <laughs> what I have to recommend. Uh, it's not, it can be frustrating. You're dealing, instead of a whole strip, you're dealing with these light little airy um, lashes and you want to set them in a location and then gently tap them. into place and hopefully they adhere. So this is the amount I start with. I put them on and if I need to add more, if, if you still see some that you want to, you know, like holes that you think you could use more lashes, then you can go in later and do it. But what I do is I start with these and then the outer Let me make sure I'm up close and personal. Now, I always start with the outer one. That tends to be the hardest one. Again, you don't want any of your makeup going past this line. Well, that includes your eyelashes. If you've got eyelashes kind of drooping down, that is a surefire way of dragging down your eye. So you want to set this where I'm aiming is right at the roots of my lashes, okay? And you kind of let it go and then just gently tap it into place. And I know you'll be tempted, especially if you do um, the fake strip lashes, to go in and squeeze it like you can a strip. I've done this where I've squeezed them and it works, but nine times out of 10, it doesn't. These are so light, they'll just pull right off with your tweezers. So you really just kind of want to tap it into place. And the angle of the lash is what's so important as well. So when you pick up it with your, with your tweezers, I pick it up kind of in the middle of the lash and I'm holding it so that I can just set it right on to my eyelashes. And so go in there, just sl slightly tap it into place. So you have to have a real, real, real gentle hand with this. You may not even need to do the um, inner ones if your eyelashes are full enough on their own. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. And sometimes they may twist and turn and then you just have to kind of reset it. Another thing is if you get glue on your tweezers, you want to wipe that off because it might be sticky and then it'll pull your eyelashes off with it. I wasn't lying about how you need to be patient with this. And you do get better, I mean, with time. It, it gets easier and you get faster. And another thing is when you're removing them, they're so easy because they're just so light. So I take my, um, my cleansing oil, rub it through my eyelashes just like I do 
even if I don't have, you know, just with my mascara or whatever, and they just fall off. There's no tugging, no nothing. And it's almost like you're just setting them on your, on your lashes. So might I recommend that when you're doing this, when you're trying it for the first time, just experimenting, don't have anywhere to go. Don't do this like when you're trying to get ready for work one morning. Um, pour yourself a nice glass of wine, relax, take some good deep breaths, and just play. Get the feel for it. Um, because like I say, once you've got it, it is, it is very rewarding. So the next thing that I like to do is then go ahead and add um, another coat of mascara. What this is doing is two things is it's, it's, you know, thickening up and, and uh, darkening up your lashes, but it's also seeing just how adhered these little guys are. And if they fall out, then you can put them back in. You want to do that now because you don't want to be, you know, having lunch with your friends and you got your eyelashes falling out because they will, they will do that. So you want to make sure that they're adhered and that they're meshed in nicely with your lashes. So I then switch mascaras. This is the Lash uh, Essence Lash Princess and I love this mascara. This is a good one. And so instead of raking it through like you do your normal lashes, what I do is just kind of pat. And you start patting it at the root. See, this one, this one came up. So I'm going to go ahead and dip that in the glue and let it set for a few. You want to be gentle, but because you don't want to pull them out, but you def definitely want to test that they're, that they're on, that they're there. And also you may then say, okay, now that this is thicker, you can then see where you may want to add more. Here's another one that went off. And so then, like I say, you just gently tap, um, darkening and thickening your, your lashes as well as them. I can see a few spots where I would want to add a couple of more. So then I just go ahead and get those glued and let them set up. I did get a little bit of either mascara or um, the adhesive on my on my eye, and so you handle that the same way you would handle mascara or anything else. You just take a spoolie and let it dry, and then just flick it off. And then you just kind of fill the gaps a little bit. Okay, so once you've gotten um, them all tested, making sure they're not going to fall out, um, you've thickened it with the mascara, maybe added a few more added lashes, then that's it. Uh, you're done. And I really do enjoy the 
real feathery, nice look that you can you can achieve with these. Um, again, I I kind of have the different lengths of them, but but play with play with the lengths that kind of work for you. The ones the you know the very longest ones are a little too long. Um, I'll probably end up just needing mediums, but you can buy these, um, a full set of these all as mediums instead of various sizes. It's just nice to start off with these just to see what you like and what works for your eye. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and I hope you have a great day.